What is up, everybody? My name is Huts, and welcome back to... Today, we are trying out a new character called Zack. Zack is a compulsive gambler. Every room he clears grants him a poker chip. He can spend a stack of chips to roll his lucky pair of dice, Snake Eyes. Rolling the dice can grant him boons such as stat upgrades, pickups, and perks to improve future rolls. However, they can also condemn Zack with stat downs, foes to fight, and even quirks to get in the way of rolling them again. Spending more chips gives him a greater chance of a positive roll, but rolling with less chips lets him roll more often. Here's how we're gonna handle it. We're gonna follow them in order. So the first time I'm gonna roll with one chip and then two chips and then three chips and then four chips and so forth until we get to the max, then I'm gonna roll back down to one. This will guarantee an even number of unlucky and lucky rolls, but we'll see. Maybe the RNG will take hold and uh, we'll get good stuff even on one chip. Every room clear, we'll see a little chip pop up in the upper left. First one with one roll. Cursed. Just gave me a curse. That's fine. I know I have two red hearts. We, we probably got lucky on that one. I tested Zach out, and uh, before I knew that you had to stack up the chips, I rolled twice. One chip each. It was a damage down and a tears down, so... Let's look! You're just as dumb as this rock! Let's see you say that time when I come back with a bomb. Who needs RNG with skills like these? Oh, yeah, you're, you're a cheater. You're a cheater. All right, two chips, go! Speed. What did that say? Crab and pills? You told you, stupid. What do you got here? Miraculous womb. On pickup adds an orbital of Jacob and Esau. Jacob familiar has less damage, but shoots slightly faster. Esau familiar shoots less, but has more damage. I need an adult. First item room has got the finger. Yes, even more damage. We're pumping up the damage now. The finger's really good for status effects too. Speed. speed down? Did I know that was a speed down? Three chips, go! Cubbins. Soul of Azazel is really good. And we could take maybe Soul of the Lost to get a free devil deal next floor. Soul of Azazel, go! Dominated, dominated. And PJs. Shops are different with Zack. A lot fewer items, and then there's this table here where we can trade our money for poker chips. All right, four chips, go. What do you got? Now oh, just spawn enemies. So we're not getting too lucky here. We did find the broken glasses though. 50% chance of adding an extra blind item in treasure rooms. 50% chance to reveal the blind item in alt treasure rooms. So let's go all path then. Downpour XL. Oh. Double item room back to back though? All right. Only have one key. <laughs> of course. Like this one. Broken glasses allows me to see both of them right now. And I'm definitely going to go with the tractor beam here. It does seem like... The Jacob and Esau familiars are actually shooting through my tractor beam, which is huge. Got our second key. We got, oh man, that is a tough choice. Infestation 2 was obviously just tier 4. It's really, really good. But Eden's Blessing. I mean, the tears up is really good, but then give me another item for the next run. Here's the problem. The next run that I do is probably just going to be a test for whatever next mod or character that I try out. So it'll be wasted on me. I probably got to go with the infestation too. Oh, uh, we already missed five poker chips. I got distracted. Wow, uh, this is six. Or seven? This is seven. Uh, <laughs> Are we sure that the poker chips work? I'm not convinced. We should do a challenge run where we use the poker chips at, at one chip every single time. Would it be possible? Double boss room. Infestation 2 neuters anybody that spawns a lot of ads. This is a lot of spiders for me. Spoon! Yeah, speed up. <laughs> Still not even a one. Rainmaker, not worried. Almost dead already. Oh my god, crushed. Um, poker chips are kind of in the way, but something hair tie. Speed and range, you know. Good to keep getting speed, but eventually, maybe some DPS. Deal with the devil. What do you got? Okay. You gonna give me an item in one of these? No. We're strong enough? Let's do flip. Positive thing here about the XL floor is that we get to do two more bosses for two more boss items. Is it worth finding a secret room on the all path? Or on the, on the flip side, I mean? Maybe, maybe not. It was there, though. Yeah, boring. I missed five poker chips again. All right, well, here's six. I, did, I don't think the poker chips work. Or maybe it's my own luck that's making it bad. I don't know. Oh, hey, I suppose we get an extra item room, right? No, we don't. Boss, the Elder Blob again. 
Easy. We got snack. Two soul hearts. What is this crap? Five poker chips finally. Go. Tears up, pill. Okay. I didn't notice my tears actually going anywhere, though. Did it work? Am I being lied to? And some meat. I did not get a second bomb for the mines. Maybe we go into the shop and see if we can't... Well, we could just buy the smelter. I'm gonna buy poker chips, but the smelter is pretty nice. All right, no mines. On the catacombs two, curse of the unknown. I can't see my health, but I know that I've got a bunch of it. So we've done five, six, seven poker chips. If there's eight, we'll do that. I don't know where it rolls over. We might have to do seven again. Gotta find the max. What is this? Why is that like gold? Here we go. What is this? Who are you? Well, that was odd. Got more soul hearts for me. Oh, teleport to my deal with the devil. And I didn't take my soul to lost with me. I just switched it out for the soul of Cain. Far Babylon, go. We have eight poker chips right now. Go. Pick me up. We got some drops. Very nice. Got our slept rib here. Blocks and coming shots. I use soul of Cain in this really big room. Decent chance to find the ultra secret room, but also just more doors to go through, right? Extra shop here. And there's my ultra. It's got too spooky. Here's enemies in a small radius around me. I like it. Back up to eight chips. I don't know if we can even hit nine. Oh my goodness. Uh, we did hit nine. I don't know what that orange chip is. It's starting to get different colors here. Let's see what nine does for us. Uh, more health. Out of comes two boss. Polycephalus. Double polycephalus. Very low health, though. And where's my soul the lost? Oh, I left it all the way on the left side of the map. I... Uh, Balls. We we're already in there, though. I mean, no, it's hungry soul. You know, let's just go for it. We have Horror Babylon. We want to get rid of our red health anyways. Let's go to mines, too. Back up to nine chips. Can we get to ten? Can we get a ten, please? That's ten chips. Paralysis. When are we supposed to get the good things? Oh, speaking of good things, game's already over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry every single time that I try to do a mod showcase, a new character, I end up getting C-section. Who needs mods when C-section exists, right? Now we shoot tiny homing babies. Shop, birthright, what is that gonna do? Poker tables no longer run out of chips to buy. On floors that do not contain a shop, a poker table will spawn at the starting room. All right. 11. We're at 11. Give me something good. Finally. Heavy handed. I said I don't know what that means. Heavy handed probably means something about my next roll or something. Oh, man. That bomb placement, though. Oh, my goodness. Crushed it. Deal with the devil and some health. What do you got? It's a cram poop. Lump of coal, that's gonna be really saucy. The further our babies travel, the uh, more damage they're gonna do. They grow up so fast. Look at the babies with the hungry soul. What the hell? Last item has got a swarm. Very good. More protection. Here's 12 poker chips. Are we on 12? I can't remember. <laughs> 12 go. Royal flush. Ooh, we got some stuff. Teleports Isaac to an extra boss room that can be defeated for an item. Is that still bugged on Necro 2? Let's just wait for the next floor. Just to be safe. We'll have 13 chips after this room, too. Very nice. Polaroid. Jump into the devil deal for... C-section conjoined is a good thing. Snake eyes, roll my dice. And I got some stuff. And Seuss and a store key. Store key is kind of lost on me, but that's fine. We'll start the next floor with this reverse emperor card. It's gonna be a Mama Gertie fight. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Oh, got me. She got me though. Divorce papers, tears up, bone heart. Mysterious paper trinket, which I suppose we could smelt that instead. We have 533 fire right, right now. Pretty spicy. What is that? I must have it. Cursed surprise egg. Catch a bad surprise. Hmm. Okay. Inescapable labyrinth. 
Excuse me. That I believe is our 14th chip. Hey guys, luck up. Took 14 just to get a stat up. Hey, speaking of stat ups. Ooh, stalwart. What the heck is going on? What the? No. I don't want it. Take it back. He's shooting eggs at me. Okay, how was I supposed to dodge that? I have no idea what mod that came from. Devil deal. It's got something. Unhurt, gain buffs. After next room, gain debuff until... Wait, what? After next room, gain debuff until next room. That makes zero sense to me. Let's, let's take it. Also, more babies for multidimensional. I'm in. Pick up to 14 of my chips. Let's go for 15. Here's 15. Uh, we got an item. Varicose Veins. Varicose Veins is kind of trash, but it's fine. Uh, Secret Room's got something vision. On new floor spawns two invulnerable clones of you disappear on your damage. Okay. Are these are the clones. Every single room? It's that new floor, but here they are. Isaac fight. It's going real quick. Didn't even get it chance to hit second phase. Get down to that chest. We've got punching bag. Insectoid. Parasitoid, I mean. Strange attractor. You know what? Screw it. And dunce? Absolutely. With C-section, all of these things are going to be great. That's 14 chips. That's 15 chips. Was it 15 or was it 16? Ah, jeez. I can't count. Let's go for 16. It's red. The chip's red now. You know what? Screw it. Let's find max number of chips. That'll be more fun. That's 21. It's 21? The max? I guess that makes sense. It's like blackjack. Let's see what 21 does for us. Damage up. 0.5 damage up. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. I feel like I'm a little underwhelmed by the prizes from the chips. Oh my god, 2020. Dunce cap 2020 with homing. I think that, like, if you were only guaranteed good prizes from the gambling, I think that it would be pretty worth it for you to go for the poker chips. But the fact that most of our prizes were bad kind of makes me feel like the poker chip thing is, is underwhelming. I think it makes great content, though, because I know that you guys like watching me suffer. I'd love to know your thoughts, though, on this. I suppose that, especially with my birthright, being able to have unlimited uses of the poker chip table, it could be overpowered. If you found some way to get a bunch of cash, which is totally possible, you can literally just sit here. But once again, only with my birthright can I do this. I could just get 21, 21, 21, 21. And that's another damage up. I don't know if it's a guaranteed damage up, but getting a plus one damage up just because I spent, I don't know, upwards of like 30 to 50 coins. Uh, yeah, that's not a big deal for most runs because you don't usually have that much money. But for this run specifically, yeah. Last fight here. Oh my god. The, b the bone babies. You didn't stand a chance. Like I said, you guys, I think that the idea of the poker chip, it's a good idea. I think it's very underpowered. Given the fact that uh, good things are not guaranteed to pay out, it's very expensive to get poker chips. And your shops are basically ripped. I mean, we maybe had one or two things to buy in every shop. So Zach seems like kind of a tough character. Maybe we should do that challenge where we have to use it at one poker chip every single time. That would probably go very, very poorly. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about Zach? Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. See you guys.